All right, looking at question five next. A man bought 20 books. Some cost $18, the others cost $3. If he spent a total of $210 on these books, how many of the $3 books did he buy? So what we're gonna do is we're going to assign some variables to the $18 books and the $3 books. So we'll call the $18 books X and the $3 books Y. So I know that X plus Y equals 20 because he bought 20 books. He bought some amount of the $18 ones, he bought some amount of the $3 ones. Now, what we also know is that if he spent a total of $210, we can also create the equation 18X plus 3Y equals 210. And the question is ask, is asking us, how many of the $3 books did he buy? We don't care about what X is, we care about what Y is equal to. So our goal will be to find a value for Y. All right, and the way we're gonna do that, the easiest way that just simply ignores the X altogether is by rearranging this equation here, rearranging equation one, creating one dash, and it's going to be x equals 20 minus y. And then if I sub that into equation two, I end up with I end up with 18 bracket 20 minus y equals 3y oh sorry plus 3y equals 210 x's are gone i don't care about the x's but they're gone anyway all right and now i'm going to ex i can expand all this so 18 times 2 is 300 uh, is 36 times 10 is 360 so it's 360 minus 18y plus 3y equals 210. So minus 18y plus 3y is gonna be minus 15y. So I have 360 minus 15y equals 210. If I add 15y to both sides and subtract 210 from both sides, I come up with 150 equals 15y. All right, so take that over there and that over there. It saves us multiplying by negative one down the track. So if 150 equals 15y, therefore y must equal 10. All right, so how many of the $3 books did he buy? 10, and we know that makes sense because if we take y equals 10 and put it into here, well, 10 plus 10 is 20, and 18 times 10 plus three times 10 happens to also equal 210. So again, there were no marks on offer if you told me how many X you bought. You needed to give me that answer there to be happy. And remember, because it's a worded question, you have to give me a worded answer. He bought 10. All right, and that's the end of question five.